what's up fish huge fans mr huge here welcome to the fish huge youtube channel and i'm out here with my brother on his new uh, hughes the 16 foot redfish it's a beautiful boat and uh he's taken out a couple times already all right so we're going out to bahia reef we're gonna see what's going on out there we're gonna try to hit it before the outgoing tide finishes up uh, usually the outgoing tide is the uh, best time there uh, you can still catch stuff on the on the incoming tide um, but you know I like the fish on the outcoming you get the tarpon and uh, cobia uh, we get a lot of grouper snapper uh, flounder you catch uh, snook out there you can catch uh, lots of stingrays um, you, you know so there, there's a lot of different fish out there at the Bahia Reef and then um, as the tide comes in we're gonna come up into the flats and uh, see if we can get any uh, trout or snook or redfish. Uh, hopefully uh, we can score on those. So and uh, so guys, uh, enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, hit the bell so you get notification on my new videos. And check out us on fishhuge.com. You can go there and check out our apparel and get you some products there. Fish Huge. Show you guys real quick what we got going on here at Bahia Reef. You can see the bait down there at the bottom. Bunch of structure on the side scan. Overall, you can go pretty much anywhere in Bahia Reef and and catch fish. You can see all the structure so anywhere on any of those structures is where you're gonna get them Ryan got a tablet and connected it to his Garmin through active captain app and you can get a tablet cheaper than you can get an extra screen for your Garmin so go get a cheap tablet like for your kids a kids tablet will work um, and, and then get the clamp set up he's got the little bought the little hood and then it clamps on right there and when you're in the front of the boat fishing you can uh, use your depth finder and everything you can with the active captain app you can actually go on here and control your uh, your depth finder and your Garmin from the tablet so when you're up here you got your trolling motor you can troll around move the different spots without having to go back and forth to the to the captain's chair I'm wearing the fish huge redfish the bull redfish shirt since we're on the redfish or 16 might as well sport the redfish huh I don't even got a fish anymore oh there you go <laughs> yeah, you made, you made that sucker look huge. <laughs> Almost like them bass fishermen. All fish we catch are huge. Because we catch them. There we go. Man, those little ones, they fight good. If you got kids, oh, yeah. you, you want to you wanna bring them out and get them on some fish like this. They don't have to be big fish for kids. Kids got a very low attention span, so... Get them on those little fish like that and a bunch of them and wear them out so they go to sleep and then you can catch fish. For the best fishing apparel on the market, go to fishhuge.com. Made with strong, durable, and breathable material, Fish Huge Apparel has 50 SPF fabric that will protect you from the sun and keep you cool. So if you have the Fish Huge attitude, then go to fishhuge.com, apparel for extreme fishing. Dude, he swallowed it, man. 
I see my line start moving off to the side. I'm like, oh, I got something on here. Oh, I didn't even know you had something. <laughs> Over out here at Bahia Reef, the snooker. He's probably in slot. Yeah, he's about 27 ish. Yeah. Where's your uh, measuring stick, man? You ain't got a fancy measuring stick right here? Yeah, the bump board. I say like 24. 24? Nah, he's about 27, 28. Monster. Oh, nice. Red, red, red grouper. Yeah, that was a big man. That's a nice red grouper, though, for inside the bay here. See, you catch red grouper, too, along with the gags. Look that red and orange mouth. Yeah, dude, that is crazy. Up at me. There we go. There's dinner. Little mangrove. All right, so we come out here to Bahia Reef. The bites pretty much slowed down. We got out here right when um, it was uh, the top, or I guess I should say the bottom of the outgoing tide. starting to move good now so the bite shut down a little bit we've just been hooking into stingrays and stuff so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go into the flats and um, uh, you know we're gonna go in there and go into the flats and see if we can get anything in there you know redfish trout snook sometimes there's uh, big mangrove snappers you know, chilling those out of the mangroves but uh so the bite died out here and it's only like a mile or two to, to get into the flats over here by a uh, big pass and uh, you get in there and I'm sure we can find a spot to chum so if you're ever coming out here to Tampa Bay the here reef you can get out here on a nice little flats boat on a calm day and you know it's a moderate chop out here you, you know it's uh I always say moderate I say a uh, light chop but there's a couple of white caps here and there not too bad you can come right here and and uh, if it doesn't pan out, you can go right into the flats. I can tell you, you gotta chum. You know, if you're not chumming, you're not gonna catch anything. So you gotta throw that cast that you get a lot of chum. Or uh, you can also just buy those oats. You know, just buy those oats and, and you can use the oats as chum too. It kind of does the same thing. So, uh, all right, let's go to the flats. That's why I figured 30. <coughs> yeah, you try it. You know. Oh, I'm just going to throw a dead one over there again. Maybe it, was, maybe it was a redfish that picked it up. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh yeah, right on it. It's a too big a line, I think you have. Oh, that's a trout. Damn. That's a big trout ski. Oh, yeah. Nice trout, dude. Look at that. That's what it was. That's why there was cuts in it. wet your hands. Yeah, yeah, you want to wet your hands so you handle the trout nice and gentle. I mean, that's a slot. Mm -hmm. We'd definitely be able to keep him. Come on, dude. You don't want to thumb him. He's not like a snook. Ryan's never handled a fish before. Now we're trying to be as gentle as we can with them because trout are really sensitive. Old snaggle tooth. Look at that. Hold them up to me. Hold on. Let me get it going. Nice. There's a red. Yep. Nice red fish. See, man, my line's too big, dude. There it is. I can feel the head shakes too. Yeah. I, I could have netted him right there, but I just want you to fight him a little longer. <laughs> it's been a while since I got in a somewhat decent. Yeah, all right, right. <laughs> Dude, I threw there like a bunch of times, man. Yeah, I'm getting a 25 pound. Yep. I'm going to throw 20 on and, and see if I get bites now. Oh, come on, buddy. Quit beating yourself up. Try to keep him from killing himself. Should have left him in the net. Might have to belly him. <clears throat> See if I can help you out here. Yeah. He's almost slot. Oh, he's say he's slot, right? Yeah. 18. Yeah. Dang, dude, we'd have been bringing home the dinner. See? Check that out. That's a beauty right there. Nice red fish. All right, let him go. We're not keeping today. See, very simple. He's using 25 pound test, I'm using 30. And that's not working for me. So I'm gonna switch to 20. Cause I'm just trying to get some fish to bite here so I'm reducing big time I'm gonna go from 30 to 20 Damn. oh dude man give me a chance right to about this is red fish. yeah yeah give me a chance to get in there this is where I, I used to bring my customers here all the time yeah oh that's a nice one all right Here, I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna do a uh, video on my phone too. Damn, I think it's the same one, dude. Yeah. That's nah, a smaller one. Let's go move out of your way, man. Let you do your thing. <laughs> I got you. Uh, here we go. Right into the net. Oh no, you missed. Get in there. Heck yeah, bro. Yeah, 27, man. Like well, you caught your limit. Like yeah, that's a good 30 inch bull red right there. <laughs> Maybe my bait's too big for these guys. Yeah. Probably is. yeah. 
It's the smaller ones here, not the bulls. I'm waiting for the bull, man. I'm gonna one up you on the bigger ones. Heck yeah. And another one got the blue on his tail. It's from eating them shrimp, I guess. That's what they say. One dot wonder. Almost slot. He is close. The other two you caught were slot. Well, no, that one was bigger than the second one, so. Yeah. Hey, that's a bigger one, dude. Nice. Oh, no, he's about the same. He's, a, he's about the same size as the last two. Heck yeah. And he's got a little pull in him too. No, it didn't have the foot. I mean, it's very close, isn't it? Except for the one dot. If it didn't have that one extra one there, you would yeah. think. I wonder if it's from the same. Hatch. I'm the one with the redfish shirt on. I should be catching these things. It's a nice one. Here, turn this way. Let's see if we can get the sun on them. Yeah, that's a way better. Got it. Redfish are awesome. Over the algae. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. That's all it took. How long you been chartering? And I'm not. No, no, man. See, I just caught one. <laughs> no, nah, I can do it myself. <laughs> no, nah, you can get the net for me, net guy. Look at him. He looked at you and was like, no! <laughs> Man, that's how you gotta do it, huh? Yep. Trial and error. Throw it works. You had a lot of error. Yeah. Look at that. Boy, he's got a lot of blue on his tail. What a pretty fish. There are tons and tons of redfish. For the best fishing apparel on the market, go to fishhuge.com. Made with strong, durable, and breathable material, Fish Huge Apparel has 50 SPF fabric that will protect you from the sun and keep you cool. So if you have the Fish Huge attitude, then go to fishhuge.com. Apparel for extreme fishing. So we took the huge boat out, performed awesome. We went into probably a light chop to moderate chop, no big waves or anything. Trimmed it down, nosed right into the waves and cut right through it. Uh, a little bit of the counter waves you get splashed up on, but it's not really too bad. Rides great, it doesn't haul smack too bad. So uh, that you know, that's good as far as 16 foot boat, rides really well. And it has uh, quite a bit of storage. You know, for a 16 foot boat, you got your fuel tank right there, you got your storage here. Oh, your, whatever you want to put in, it's actually pretty good size. It goes all the way up under there. So, it's actually not too bad right there. And then you got your gunnel storage for your gaff and your rods, cooler back strips, got the handles, got storage in here, oh, you, you turn these right and then it opens up and you got more storage in here, yeah you got all your storage in there, that's supposed to be dry storage in there, I see a little bit of water just came off of the lid and went into there but for the most part that's dry storage. You got fish box, fish box, storage, and 
all the way down there. We got that's so you can get the live well pumps and all that. And you got your uh, jack plate on this one. You got the two uh, power poles. You got the platform for standing. This folds down. And you can stand up here. You stand up here where Ryan operates. You actually get pretty high up. This is nice. See down into the water really good. And it gives you that step down right there. I think they should have some rod holders on the sides here. Maybe a couple up front. They do have that option. So I would, if I were you, I would get that option. It seemed like we were looking for places to put our rods and, and we didn't have enough. So, and then I would get rod holders for here. So I imagine Ryan's probably gonna do all that. You know, our first couple times taking the boat out, getting used to it, seeing what we need, what we don't need, what we're gonna change. That cushion uh, we're sitting on, it kind of gets in the way when, when you're fishing. It's good for when you're riding now, but when, when you're fishing, it, it's a little bit in the way. Well, you sit too low also. Yeah, and you sit a little too low if somebody's riding up front. So he got this cushion here to boost them up a little bit so we can go up, up front here. So for when somebody's riding up front there, um, he can see up and over them. But other than that, man, I mean, this is pretty solid right here. <clears throat> really stable platform. So that's it for the huge boat. See you guys soon. Don't forget, hit the subscribe, share, like button for more content. Let's go.